Um, yeah, he's definitely an experienced opponent. Excuse me. Mate. Mate. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's definitely an experienced opponent, but I feel very, very confident. And um, I'm not underestimating him, but uh, yeah, man, I, I have a few aces on the sleeves that he's not gonna know that I have. And uh, you know, like he's uh, he's definitely very good. But with that being said, he's the same fighter that he was like a year ago. He was he's the same fighter that he was in his last fight. I'm not. Like, I keep improving. I'm more hungry. And, uh, you know, like, I'm on my way up. I don't believe he is. So, that's the biggest difference there. Do you think that's something that you can tell? Not that you're not a confident guy, but is that something you can take confidence from where you think, hey, I'm still improving. I don't see this guy improving. He might be sort of starting to plateau here. So, I know I can go in there and do different things than he can at this point. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that shows not just in our like not that shows like not just in the fight that's that's in everywhere like in my training I go in and I I want to get better I'm I'm giving it my all like it's different when you want to just cruise you know what I mean you know he's a he's a great fighter and you know I don't believe that he goes into training cruising but like it's the hunger is the way different like the, what I want is not what like you know he's. We're different. I'm like I said. I'm on my way up, and he's not. That's it. When you look at the fight itself, do we? Are you expecting more of a grapple-heavy fight, or do you think you can go out there and get into a war with this guy? Do you think he's going to try and avoid you and use his range? Where do you think this fight takes place on Saturday? How does it go? He, he can't grapple with me. He can't grapple and, and 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 be successful with me. He just can't. So he'll try, and I welcome it <laughs> if he does. But he really can't. Um, I can. And uh, I can't do anything in that fight, and I will, because it's MMA at the end of the day. And uh, but yeah, man, like I said, I think I match up very bad for him. Like I'm, I'm a, my skills match up very well for myself against him. And uh, the way that I fight will drain him, will make him do mistakes, and I'll capitalize on those, you know. What's on the line for the winner here? But, right, both of you for Izzy, both of you didn't beat him then. So do you guys kind of have to hope that Alex Piera beats him in November, or do you think, hey, look, I'll just keep fighting, keep winning, and eventually uh, he will have to fight me one more time? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't plan things like that, but like, I want Piera to win just because it would excite me more as a next challenger eventually. Uh, and I think that will happen, because after this, I mean, I'm gonna establish myself as number one contender. I mean, what's left for me? I'll pretty much fought everybody. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it, would be, it would be undeniable another title shot with a great performance against uh, Whitaker, you know? But if it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't sign it, it's over, man. I, can, I Nothing excites me about that guy. Of course, I'll get my win against him before, before I'm done with all this, but, um, yeah, man. I mean, the things that he can do best now is painting his nails. I definitely like more Pereira, and and, and 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 you know the way he carries himself and the way he goes about fighting and all that. Like, not much, not much bullshit. Just straight bad motherfucker type kind of type of thing, and that's it. Not into the painted nails look, man. Oh hell no, man. Come on. <laughs> this this all this all way got to change, man. This all way we're we're going. It's it's not good. Uh, the guy you had for Paulo Costa, he said that he wanted to fight the winner of this fight. I'm curious, after everything that happened with you last time, you know, the weight and all that crazy stuff, is that even something you'd ever entertain again, or do you think, no, screw that guy? But then, but then he changed. This guy just like, uh, I think he changed opinion again. He's like, this guy, like, someday will... I'm actually a fan of his Twitter, I'm not gonna lie. His Twitter is so fucking funny. So, uh, I don't know, I don't think he deserved it. Not after a fight like that, especially. Um, it's not in my mind right now. Yeah. You, you did, you did, what did you think of the fight with Luke? Um, it was nice to watch from a fan's point of view, but 
that was like from a fighter, elite fighter point of view, there wasn't much. I mean, it was an all out war, not much game planning, not much. Um, you know, when you go to war, you gotta have a plan and you gotta stick to the plan. And yes, things can go wrong and you can make adjustments, but you gotta have an underlying plan. That thing was just like a brawl. Like, like most people, not man without, there was like no managing of energy, no game plan, like, like when he got in her, he took him down, like it was just like, no love bro, like messy slugfest kind of thing, you know? Marvin, just over here, uh, you mentioned about Adesanya, what did you make of his past performance against Kananea? Zero, it's uh, delusional, shit. People left, people left before the fight finished. I was there. Bullshit. Came out with all that, like all that, doing that thing. So he did the same thing with me, come out with the samurai thing. Oh, I'm gonna, um, um, revenge, you know, like, like do it for my friend, did that, didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. It's over. And, you know, given his history with her, how do you see that fight unfolding at UFC 281? I don't really hope, like, he goes out on, a, on another oxygen mask. But uh, and I think it can, it can happen because uh, that's going to be a kickboxing fight. With that being said, I'm done talking about this guy, to be honest. And you said Pereira obviously interests you the most in terms of that matchup there. Uh, you know, would you, how would you see yourself matching up with him if, if he was, of course, to take the title from Izzy? Um, well, you know, because uh, I, I think I would match up well. Um, I'm definitely more complete. But um, he's, he's a hell of a fighter. No, I mean, you know, he's a, he's a hell of a fighter. I, I respect him. Um, but yeah, we like like with any other opponent, I would game plan, and I would be super ready, and I'll come in and give him my best and walk away with a win. And what have you made of his climb through the division? Of course, he's had that previous history with with Israel, and that's kind of made him kind of bypass perhaps a few people in the division. Yeah, but I mean like like um, Strickland is now he's now like a champ, you know, like I train with Strickland a lot, like Strickland's solid, he might be um, not, but like he might be crazy, but he's good. And um, so I mean, you be a guy like that, you deserve the, like, the, the spot you're in, you know, and then uh, I understand it, you know, this is not just, this is not like a, an Olympic sport where like uh, there's like a name man tournament and it's all like, you know, like first go with the second, third go with the fourth and things like this. So he skipped the line because he put him on an oxygen mask on a stretcher the last time they fought. So I understand that. And of course, going back to your fight with uh, Robert Whittaker this weekend, of course, this was supposed to be in Singapore for UFC 275. You know, what was your initial reaction when you first heard that that fight was off? I was pissed because this happens too many times, but to be honest, I think I'm more ready now than how I could have been um, back in June, to be honest. So it played out actually good. And at that time, you did call out, you know, you were trying to get another fight, you were calling out Till and even Hamza as well. What was the thought process behind that? Oh yeah, because when, when I'm preparing for a fight and then that falls off, I'm really trying to like fight anybody at that point. And it's like, this is, uh, this is how I am. So I was just uh, calling out everybody, but I don't think I ever even called out there until like, he's actually completely irrelevant at this point, I think, in the division. Uh, he's literally zero. Delusional also. He can't even, I mean, how even, how are we even talking about him? He, we can just talk about him just because he's, he's helping Kamsen getting, getting ready, but he hasn't been fighting in a long time. I don't, he's done. I don't think, to be honest, he's going to ever come back with any decent opponent. Um, so that fight doesn't make any sense. Uh, we can't, uh, um, yeah, man, I mean, I would love to fight him. 